after coach Courtney Vino, two in a row now for the Pride, uh, a 3 2 victory over the Quinnipiac Bobcats. Uh, your assessment of today's game? Yeah, overall, a great team win, a great battle. Um, to come back from being down 1 0 and uh, to battle back at home, you know, the last time we're home for two weeks is an exciting win. I'm really proud of the crew. Uh, coach, uh, towards the end of the stretch, their defense is really putting on pressure and your goalie really stepped up. What do you have to say about your performance in those last five, ten minutes? Yeah, um, incredible, incredible job. You know, the backfield was very sound today and um, to make sure that they were in intercept positions, they came up with a lot of big balls. Um, Merrill Lyon came up with, I think, of two crucial saves there in the last uh, six minutes at least. Um, she actually just sat on her team huddle. I love that we won, but we need to settle things a little bit too in the last six minutes. So um, she's very mature and she understands the flow of the game. Very, very excited for her. Coach, you talked about coming back at the half. What did you tell your team heading into the half after having given up the first goal? Yeah, well, in the half, we actually switched up our press and decided to kind of help with our central, um, central inside midfielder there. And to reduce the running of our central players and so I think that that was a key factor the other was you know one of our core values is relentless and you know I said hey we've got a great crowd here today this is your turn let's find a way to get on the scoreboard we've got the circle entries I think we had nine circle entries to their six so we were out circle entrying them um, what are we doing with those circle entries can we get some penalty corners and get some shots and you know, the composure of Maddie Warfel carrying the ball inside the circle and just taking her time to get a free, to get a um, free shot, uncontested shot, uh, great for her to get two today. You guys are on a two-game winning streak now. You guys still have to keep going forward. What do you guys think is the biggest key to those two games will continue to going forward? Yeah, I think overall just keeping the mindset of every practice we're chippering away and just focusing on what do we do. Um, you know, we're really, ch one of our other core values is growth and making sure that every time on this turf we're taking advantage of it, whether it's a practice or a game. Um, I think too, we're seeing things are starting to settle. We're really understanding bitter, bigger concepts that we're putting together and um, the energy and believing that we can win, that, that's something you have to learn overall. And so it takes time and um, it takes time to find find goals and so all of those things give us confidence and overall I think that's going to increase here. It's a really young team. It is. It is. It's a young team. It's a, it's a little all over the board. Our sophomore class experience wise it's young. They, um, they played a lot. They played big crucial roles last year, uh, last season and you know they're in that sophomore year of trying to come back and hold the same standard and uh, this off season um, the minute we were pushing forward and, and got this position, um, you know, they committed to it and they committed to changing the culture of this program. And every day I've seen something that's blown me away. I'm very proud of the group. How'd you the corner play today? Lots of scouts. Lots mm -hmm. of scouts. Um, we we kind of were trying to manipulate um, their flyer a little bit. We're trying to get her to the left and use our second battery um, to overexpose that left side. Yeah. I, I didn't know how to pronounce the goalie's name. And at the end there, she's making these saves. I thought maybe it was Merlin. Merline. Merline Vanderbeck. It was a joke. Yeah. Merlin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, over my head. I couldn't help it. Right? <laughs> Warful had a great game. What, yeah. what was the mindset you had to talk to her? Oh, Warful. Um, Warful is an incredible person. She's, uh, this summer, she actually stayed on campus. She committed to working out with our strength coach. She's really transformed herself into being um, AFAP as fast as possible. And she uh, she's someone that just plugs away every day and our team relies on her energy, right? And um, for her to get two today and for her to really set the tone, she had to battle through some hard tackles to get that circle entry. And ultimately, like you could see in her shoulders that she was not the happiest with not getting the, the call and just blasted it home. So the composure to get that shot off and it'll be a good highlight film, that's for sure. Coach, your team's going to take a two game win streak on the road. Talk about your team's mindset heading into this first road trip of the season. Yeah, well, I think uh, getting on the road for the first time is actually fun, right? They get on a bus, they get fed, they enjoy life and enjoy, <laughs> we watch a movie. Like, um, I think it'll be fun just to be together. Um, 
I think it'll also be fun to see if we can carry over the same game, the same skill set, and the same mentality on a different turf. And um, Bryant and Brown both use Brown as their home base turf, so we're actually battling two opponents on their home field, right? So it'll be good. They're uh, they're um, going to be a good competitor, a good next step for us. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.